Three, two, zero. Through the pre-dawn fog, an Atlas V rocket powered the very first interplanetary launch from California, as opposed to Florida, where all such launches have taken place before. And NASA's InSight, the first outer space robotic explorer to study the interior of Mars. The Mars InSight spacecraft will spend the next six and a half months hurtling towards the red planet, where if all goes well, it will perform some groundbreaking science, literally. When a mission gets off the ground at the very first launch opportunity. That's that's something pretty special. Peter Kalamine is Insight's team lead. He'll help oversee a two-year geological examination of what lies beneath Mars's surface. We're going to map out the, the thickness of the crust, uh, the size of the core, uh, the composition of the mantle and core of the planet, sort of get the, uh, the first uh, map of the deep inside of Mars. A seismometer placed by a robotic arm on Mars's surface will measure earthquakes and the impact of meteorites. A probe that uses a self-hammering mechanical mole to burrow five meters below the surface will measure how heat flows in Martian soil. And an onboard radio will track the wobble in Mars's spin. That could reveal how much liquid rests deep inside the planet. The interior of a planet is in incredibly difficult to investigate because we can't go there. It feels close, but it's really far away. Mars expert Dave Brain compares Earth and Mars, which have similar geological features, although Mars is half the size, to two baked potatoes. And small baked potatoes cool off quicker than large baked potatoes. By studying the interior of a planet that may be quite different from ours, he believes... We can make this nice comparison between a big planet and a small planet that teaches us more about how Earth should evolve going forward. The InSight mission will be run by the U.S. aerospace company Lockheed Martin from its Colorado facility. It's where the spacecraft was built. It's scheduled to arrive at Mars on November 26th. Its descent to the ground will be tricky. So that we go from... 12,000 miles per hour at the start, down to zero. And that all happens in the span of seven minutes. Not long after touchdown, this new, deeper exploration of the planet is set to begin. Hendrik Sabrandi, CGTN, Denver.